Hey, thanks for checking out my video. This is a guide for the Great Horn Heist quest in Final Fantasy XIV. This is a limited time seasonal quest, and I was able to play it as I'm recording this video in August 2021. Even though this quest is scheduled to be up for only about a week and a half more, it's likely to come back again in the future. To start the quest, you'll need to be level 15 and have completed your chosen city-state's envoy quest. This is the quest that takes you out of your home city-state to visit the other two city-states in the game. There's a good amount of content in this quest, so if you're checking out this video because you need help in a certain location, feel free to look at the description and use the time jumps there. Alright, with that let's get into it. To start the quest, head to the middle of Ulda and look for the NPC Alir. Alir is a gold saucer attendant and one of his colleagues has been accused of a theft. He doesn't believe his colleague did it, and he's looking for someone to help prove otherwise. Once you've accepted the quest, you need to make your way to the Gold Saucer. I've made a previous video in the past that explains in more detail how to get to the Gold Saucer. If you haven't been to the Gold Saucer before or just need a refresher, check out my previous video first. I'll put a link in the description. Whichever method you take to get to the Gold Saucer, once there, head over to the Manderville Lounge. This is where you find Ollier. Talk to him to learn a little bit more about what happened. Apparently the reason his friend has been accused of this crime is because he has been found guilty of a petty theft in the past. There appears to be no evidence linking him to this crime though. Allier will give you a journal which will hold your notes as you perform the investigation. You can use this to refer to what you've learned as you progress through the quest. The next step is to talk with a nearby anxious attendant. The attendant was handling cackpot ticket sales at the time of the theft. He didn't notice anything unusual except that there was a large crowd. He also said it would be obvious if someone ununiformed was behind the counter. This is your first big hint in the investigation and it's added to your log. Talk to Allier one more time after this and he'll explain to you that now it's up to you to investigate the gold saucer and find more clues. This is now your opportunity to explore and try and find these clues. If you want to do this on your own, this is a great time to pause the video and come back if you've had trouble. Otherwise, in just a moment, I'll show the location of all the hints on this map. Now, it doesn't matter which order you visit these locations, though some of the NPCs may not give you all the information until you've talked to a previous NPC. Rather than try and figure out who you need to talk to before another character, I'm going to show you the order in which I talk to the characters. After revealing how to find the characters, we'll then review the notes and try and piece together the mystery of who stole the horn. The Blade Recruits are located in the southern part of the event square. This is the northeastern section of the Gold Saucer. The Astute Attendant is also in the event square, below the stairs on the northeast side. The Frantic Attendant is on the second floor of the event square, just above the Astute Attendant. The Effusive Attendants can be found in the round square. This is the northwestern section of the Saucer. The cheery customer is in the north part of the entrance square. And just on the other side of the counter in the entrance square, you can find the choice location. Heading east out of the entrance square is where you'll find the blabbering brass blade. In Wonder Square is where you'll find the brusque blade. This is the southeastern part of the saucer. All right, now that we've talked to everybody, let's review what we've learned. The Brass Blade recruits revealed that their commander, Pipiyama, is a friendly person. They invited him to join them in the Chocobo races, but he just seemed to ignore them or didn't hear them. They also revealed that Pipiyama has a brother who is a frequent patron of the saucer. The effusive attendants were discussing Pipiyama's brother who apparently has a lot of interest in earning money. The rumors say he has his sights set on an invaluable prize. They also mentioned that the brothers look a lot like each other. Perhaps they are twins. The astute attendant informed you that one of her colleagues has lost his uniform. She's surprised by this as her colleague is known to be very careful and cautious throughout the saucer staff. The frantic attendant is the one who has lost his uniform. No one seems to have seen his uniform anywhere and no missing items have been reported. Interesting to note that this attendant is a Lalafel, just like Pipiyama. The cheery customer noted that one of the attendants of the cackpot counter, where the horn was stolen from, left the counter briefly to show a guest around the floor. This customer noted that another attendant did not come to take his place during his absence. From the choice location, you've discerned that 
Due to the position of the cackpot counter, it's possible it obscures the view from other sides of the room. The blabbering blade tells you that Pipiyama's nickname is Master Maya Pippi. He says it's unthinkable that Pipiyama would ever ignore a friendly greeting. He also seems to say that they more or less already had a suspect when they discovered the horn was missing. The brusque blade tells you that he searched high and low for the horn but cannot find it. Given the horn's size, he suspects that it's hidden somewhere in the gold saucer still, and the thief intends to sneak off with it later. This information should help you piece together what really happened. So let's try and do that. It shouldn't be too hard to deduce that Pipiyama or his brother might be involved in the theft somehow. The fact that the attendants can often confuse Pipiyama's brother for Pipiyama himself might clue you in that one of them may have posed as the other at some point. The fact that the recruits said that they tried to invite Pipiyama to the chocobo races and they were flat out ignored could give a hint that maybe that was not Pipiyama they were calling to. Pipiyama is also a Lalafell. It wouldn't take too much of a leap to think that he or his brother may have stolen the Lalafell attendant's uniform and used it to get behind the cactpot counter to steal the horn during a busy time. With this evidence in hand, it's time to return to Allier. Talking to Allier starts a tribunal where the evidence is reviewed. You'll now need to answer a series of questions based on the evidence that you've found. Note that if you get these questions wrong, you'll still get the same rewards at the end of the quest, and after you complete it, you'll have a chance to retry part of the quest and get the best ending if you so choose. So if you want to try it for yourself, this is a good time to pause the video and do so. Otherwise, the questions should be answered as such. You want to point out that the true culprit is still out there. The evidence is that one of the attendant's uniforms has been stolen. If the blades are so sure they've caught the right person, where's the horn then? The horn was stolen while the attendant was still on duty. This is now where you accuse Pipiyama. Point out that the stolen uniform was Lalafell sized. Indicate that the other Lalafell in the gold saucer don't have a brother with an eye out for money as much as Pipiyama's. Finally, call him Master Maya Pippi. This is where Pipiyama slips, as he indicates that he should be called by his proper name and doesn't recognize the name Maya Pippi. But all the other blades are used to calling him Master Maya Pippi. The cat is out of the bag and it's revealed that who you are talking to is actually Pipiyama's brother. Together they reveal that they have a third brother and he's ill. They stole the horn in an attempt to be able to help their brother. However, Pipiyama clearly abused his power as an authority in the Gold Saucer. The Lord of the Gold Saucer, Manderville, just happens to be around at the right moment. He decides to give the horn to Pipiyama and his brother. Since the horn has become a gift, they're no longer guilty of a crime but they still need to answer to Lord Manderville. He tells them that for the horn in return, he expects them to help sick children enjoy the gold saucer and live comfortable lives. They're both overjoyed and agree to this. Once the conversation ends, you can talk to Allier and complete the quest. We're not quite done yet. Just around the corner from Allier is the stern attendant. Talk to the stern attendant to start the quest, a token of thanks. Next, head to the gold saucer entrance and talk to the attendant at the cackpot counter. He'll give you a book which you can read to learn the Vexed emote, and you'll also earn the Objection in Game Achievement. And now your work as an amateur detective has finally completed. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you found it useful or entertaining, do me a favor and hit that like button. It really helps out the channel and I would appreciate it. Take care everybody.